Hey guys, it's Brienne here, and so today is that lovely time of the month whenever I usually sit down and film a recommendation type of video just for a bunch of Manwa or Manway. I usually mix the two up, so there's probably going to be Manwa and Manway in this video just so you're aware. But basically, they're just some Manwa and Manway that I personally have read and I've enjoyed, so I decided to compile them into one video and give you guys a bunch of recommendations. And so today, I actually have 15 of them, so a good amount, especially if you're still like lockdowning, quarantining, all that fun stuff. I have double checked in that to try to make sure that I haven't mentioned these in previous videos and I'll leave those previous videos for recommendations of Manwa in that down below if you're curious and want to check those out. But yeah, if I have mentioned these before, I'm sorry. I, I tried to check. I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm good, but just in case, I'll apologize in advance. Some of these though, I do have separate videos on, so if you want to check those out, you can just scroll through my page, some of them. I'll probably mention it when I mention the Manwa if I have a video on it or not. And in case you're new to this channel and you're not familiar with it, the type of Manwa I usually read or manway I usually read are like the Esekai reincarnation princess type of stories so if you're not into those this video probably won't be the one for you unfortunately and if you are familiar with my channel you'll know I'm just gonna pop up a picture or two not really talk too too much about the manwa just show you the usually very very beautiful artistic styles and that which is usually what draws me into these personally but if you don't want to hear me ramble and talk and all that fun stuff everything is always linked down below in the description box if you just want to check them out that way but without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first one I want to talk about, I believe is actually a Manway and not a Manwa. I should have a video that went up today about it actually, so if you want to check that out, feel free. But it is called The Making of a Princess, or it also is A Queen's Law of Survival or something like that. For me personally, at least at the beginning, it reminds me so much of Who Made Me a Princess, and like that's my favorite Manwa, so that's probably why I'm so obsessed and so in love with this one, but I recommend this one like 800%. Like, it's really, really good so far. And the next one I also actually have its own little video on. It's called The Song of Theodore. So again, if you want to check that one out, again, I believe this one's a manway and it was the artwork that really, really like, drew me into it. It's kind of like Game of Thrones, but in a manway form. Like, there's a lot of tragedy, just a lot of heartbreak. The next one is The Stereotypical Life of a Reincarnated Lady. Honestly... I haven't read much of this one and the art style is not my absolute favorite but it sounds like it'll be a good read just because I've read so many of these types of manhwa and I feel like it's just gonna have a lot of tropes and that and kind of make fun of like things so I think this will be really really enjoyable but I'll have to wait and see but I figured I'd throw it in the mix. This one I'm not too sure if I have mentioned it before or not but it's called Living as the Tyrant's Older Sister. I think I may have mentioned this before but I honestly always forget about this one and I do enjoy it. It's not my favorite favorite art style in the whole wide world but like it is a good read and so the next one I haven't read a lot of either and it's not really my typical art style but it sounds interesting and I have enjoyed what I've seen so far and it is called I Stole the Male Leads First Night so yeah it definitely sounds like an interesting one and that's why I checked it out and yeah I think this could be good. The next one is Unbending Flower. I believe this one is a Manway. I believe this one is a Manway. I'm winded. I went downstairs just now and I'm winded. <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear it. But yeah, it's called Unbending Flower and I believe it's a Manway. Again, the art style, beautiful. It is interesting what I've read so far. More unique, I'd say, in a sense. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. Next is I Saved the Cursed Duke. Yeah. I saved the cursed duke. This one, again, art style is not my absolute favorite. Could be because the male lead's blonde. <laughs> And honestly, it's not my favorite because so far it's just too, like, healthy in a way. Like, there's not too much happening. I believe I've only read, like, 17 chapters though or something like that. I feel like it could be other people's cups of tea and, like, it's I don't hate it or anything, but I'm just not totally, like, obsessed with it. Next one is On the Emperor's Lap. I've read a lot of this one and I've really, really enjoyed the story. It definitely is unique. I'm not too sure if it's a manwa or a manway. I think it might be a manway, but... I, I'm not too sure. It has took a really really interesting twist to where I am now in it which is like where it currently is um, uploading because I believe all of these are on currently ongoing. None of these are completed. If you do like completed, I am so so sorry but I can never find that many completed manwa or manway. So this video isn't for you in that sense. But yeah, this one has really really pretty artwork and it's pretty unique so it's pretty pretty good so far. I just realized I messed up the first one and this one. So this one is how to be a princess. Okay. Wait, let me retry that. Let me retry that. All right. So the first man way that I mentioned was the making of a princess, but I thought that one was actually how to be a princess, which is the one I have the other video on. But 
We'll talk about the making of a princess, which I mentioned originally, which is wrong. But there's not too many, many chapters for this one, but the artwork is really, really pretty, so that kind of is why I was drawn to it. And it has been interesting so far. Definitely, I think, more on the uni unique side as well. So yeah, hopefully it'll be a good read. I can't believe I messed that up. Why are they so similar? But anyways, the next one is Trash of the Count's Family, which I actually have a video filmed and almost completely edited, so that will probably go up before this video. But it actually has a male lead as like the main character instead of a female lead, so it definitely is different in the sense that I never really read things from like a male perspective, but I have been enjoying it. It's really, really good. I definitely recommend checking out my other video if it's up. There's a cute little dragon. There's some cute little cats. The artwork, impeccable. And yeah, definitely recommend that one. The next one, I'm kind of like, I don't know how I feel about it. So it is, I'm the ex-girlfriend of a soldier. Definitely unique. The artwork, incredible again. The story is kind of too healthy so far, like the rom romance aspect of it. Again, it's like too healthy, but at the same time it's not because he's like, lies a lot but I feel like if you read this you'll know what I mean but I just need like a hint of spice like I feel like is what is missing from this right now at least all right and so the next one oh my god the artwork of this one is so good as well it's called Elskar probably butchering that it's it's good it's really really good the artwork's great it has a very very interesting story and yeah I really like it so far the next one is The Great Wish again another great one in my opinion I actually just fully caught up to it I think yesterday yeah the artwork great the storyline very very like I don't know it's just really good this one I believe is a newer one it is I tamed a tyrant and ran away again the artwork drew me in like oh my god this one's so pretty storyline pretty good pretty good I definitely wish there was more chapters I believe there's only 20 something right now but I know I'm gonna enjoy this and then last but not least is the manwa or manway I'm not too sure what it is that I am currently reading and have been binging lately and it's called the beginning after the end again it is from a male perspective I am trying to read more manwa manway all that fun stuff from a male perspective because people have asked for recommendations and I like I want to follow through on that and this one I would definitely recommend it's really really good it's really interesting it's really hard to put down I'm pretty upset that I'm not reading it right now and I plan to play Final Fantasy which I'm hoping you can't hear in the background my PlayStation but you might hopefully not though but yeah that one's also really really good so yeah that's basically my recommendation list for the month I feel like I do these every month or so I don't know I read a lot it's good it's honestly to the point that they all are starting to blend in together and I'm starting to forget which one's which. Clearly, as you can see with the two that have princess in the title, those completely messed me up. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff down below. It really helps out my channel. And like, I really like interacting with people and hearing your favorites on that. So definitely comment down any recommendations or anything like that down below. Not just for myself, but for others. Because honestly, there's not much to do in the world right now. So reading is a good pastime. And if you have read any of these, let me know how you feel about them down below. If you're gonna put spoilers or anything like that, just put a spoiler warning. Me personally, I don't mind being spoiled, so like feel free to spoil things for me, but just be courteous of others. If you have any video requests or anything like that, feel free to leave those down below as well. I do enjoy doing those. It definitely helps me think of other content to make because yeah, I used to talk about mostly anime and manga, but I feel like I've really been on the manwe and manwa side of things now because those are just what I've been feeling lately, what I've been obsessing over. I have started Jojo though, the anime. I finally got into that because it's on Netflix and I finally just gave in. Dio is not what I expected. Um, like, I thought everyone loved Dio. So, like, I was like, oh, he's gonna be super, super cool. He's like a sociopath is what I'm learning. Like, I did not expect that. My mind has been blown. But, yeah. I'm gonna get going now so I can play some Final Fantasy and try to get all the trophies, which is really, really hard. And then I'm probably gonna continue reading that last manual I mentioned, the beginning of the end or whatever it's called, because I still have like 60 more chapters to fully catch up to. So that will be good. That will be good. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day or had a great day, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.